Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be my updated body care collection for 2023. It's currently January and I think the last time I updated you guys was November. So I'm going to be comparing my numbers from November and then my numbers from January of 2023. So I have all my body care laid out on the bed right here and um, it's a lot. So let's go through it together. I'm going to go through all the scents that I have. I'm not really going to touch on every single one, but I'll give you kind of my overall thoughts on a couple of them as well. So let's get started. I'm going to be honest and say that when I put all this on my bed, it kind of made me have a mini heart attack because it is so much stuff and I just don't want to own this much stuff anymore, to be honest with you. So we're going to be doing some damage. I think I'm going to go through all of this and then I'm going to pick out things that I want to use up like immediately. Like I have a few things like these scrubs that are almost finished and I just didn't want to use them because they're out of season, but I should definitely finish them up. And then I'm going to pick out a few things that I'm just going to declutter and see if friends want them or maybe put them on Facebook Marketplace. But yeah, we need to do some serious damage here. Okay, simply because I don't want to do math right now, I'm going to put the numbers up on the screen to compare and tell you how many I have right now, but let's start with shower gels. So I went kind of year round since spring, summer, fall, winter. So just so you know how this is going, let's start with the Bath and Body Works shower gels. I've got Life of the Party right here. I'm currently using this among the clouds, my summer collections of fresh coconut and cotton and beach nights, my fall sweater weather, together weather, and cozy vanilla bourbon, and then winter vanilla mocha cream, which I'm using right now in the shower, ice sugar plum, using this one too, and shower shake from I Heart Revolution. This is the vegan mint chocolate scent. And then I've got these three not from Bath and Body Works. I've got two from Philosophy, one in strawberry guava coconut and one in pumpkin icing. I have to say, I really like this formula. Not only is it super beautiful, but it lathers really well, and it's actually super moisturizing, so... Just thought I'd put that out there that these are definitely worth the price. I don't have the tags on them anymore, but I think they're around like 12 bucks from um, Marshalls. And then I have this one Pacifica Island Vanilla Body Wash. I have not yet tried it, so I will try this probably this summer. And then I'll go ahead and go through my moisturizing body washes. I have four right now. I actually just got Pure Wonder as a Christmas present. So I have Into the Night, In the Stars, Pure Wonder, and Midnight Amber Glow. And then I've got this one random Jergens Natural Glow. This is a wet skin moisturizer. I usually start using it around this time of year whenever I'm kind of pale. So I think I'm actually going to pull this out and put it into my shower because I do like it. It gives me a little bit of a kind of self-tan feel without having to bother with sitting in self-tan all day. And then for body lotions, I've got only Bath & Body Works lotions right now. I've got Pure Wonder. This was also a Christmas gift. In the Stars, Midnight Amber Glow, Twilight Woods, and then my fall collection of white pumpkin and chai, pumpkin cupcake, and winter collection, which I'm using all three of these right now, actually, ice sugar plum. Ryan is using Jolly Gingerbread Village in his shower right now, actually, or in his bathroom. He's loving it. It has this, like, I think it's timber on the back. Yeah, Yuletide timber note that kind of makes it masculine. So he's really enjoying this, and I think it smells really good on him. So that's fun about that one. And then Twisted Peppermint. I actually have this next to my desk to work, and I'll put this on whenever my hands are dry. And then I've got these six body creams. I'm currently using Pink Chiffon. It's actually almost finished, so I'm really happy about that. Midnight Amber Glow, Fresh Coconut and Cotton, Whipped Coconut Milkshake, Cozy Vanilla Bourbon, and Everlasting Magic. And then I've got three body butters. I actually just finished my Fenty Beauty um, Cinnamon Butter Drop, which I'm so happy because it was so yummy. But I've got this Fenty Skin Butter Drop. I think this is the base formula that she first came out with. And then I've also got the vanilla one, which is called Vanilla Dream, and this is shimmering. It says it's a whip oil body cream. This actually is super moisturizing. I love this formula. And then I've got the Bath & Body Works Midnight Amber Glow Glotion Body Butter. So moving on to body scrubs, I've got these four right here that are in tubes. So I've got this one from Dionys Goat Milk. Um, this is the Vanilla Bean Whipped Body Scrub. Then I've got these three from Bath & Body Works. I've got Gingham Vibrant. Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte, and Together Weather. And then I've got all my tub body scrubs right here. And I have a ton because I kind of went crazy over the holidays. And I bought the entire Dove collection. I bought 
another of the tree hut collection so yeah i need to get through these i've got the three dove holiday treats scents that came out this year in cinnamon pumpkin pie sugar cookie and peppermint bark honestly i loved all three of these sugar cookie was a little bit of a letdown but these two were so yummy and i just love the formula of these and then I've got these four from Tree Hut. We've got Velvet Coffee, which is from two years ago in the fall time. So I need to finish that. We've got Cinnamon Dulce, which I'm using currently, and it's so yummy. Apple Macchiato and Candy Cane. And then right here, I've kind of got a little mismatch of stuff. I do have this one full-size vegan collagen hand cream from Pacifica. This does not have a scent to it. It's just like a normal lotion unscented. I've got these four body oils i've got this new to me mary Kay silkening body oil it's called a dry oil so i have not used it i'm excited to try it and see how it goes but i am using the glossier body hero which is another dry mist it's called a dry touch oil mist so this one sprays out just like a mist but it actually when you rub it in it doesn't leave your skin greasy like most body oils i've been loving it i'm pretty much more than halfway done on this one it's so amazing and yeah i've really been enjoying that one so i would say that is worth the price and then i've got the pacifica vegan collagen body oil i haven't really used this much and then my aromatherapy stress relief from bath and body works this is my favorite body oil of all time i just think the stress relief scent is so like calming so i love this one for spa nights and then i'm almost finished with this tree hut tunisian vanilla bean post shave soothing mist I highly recommend this if you have problems with like razor burn and stuff after shaving. And it was only $3.99 from um, Marshalls. So if I find it again, I'll definitely pick it up because I'm almost finished. But I don't think they sell this in stores anymore. They don't sell this uh, post-shave mist. So I will have to try and find it in other ways. Maybe they still have it on Amazon. Okay, this next half is going to be pretty intense. So I've got my minis over here. I've got my perfumes over here and then all of my fine fragrance mists. So let's start with minis. First up, I've got all of my little mini fine fragrance mists, which is quite the collection now. And I really need to work on getting through these. So I've got Victoria's Secret Bear, Warm Vanilla Sugar. I have two Midnight Amber Glows because one is pretty much finished up. And this is one of my favorite scents from them. I've got a mini and cozy vanilla bourbon. I've got champagne apple and honey. Happy Halloween Vampire Blood in the Shimmering Mist. And then I just got this Hot Cocoa and Cream Mist in December. And I've got this mini from L'Occitane. This is their shower oil with almond oil. And it is so luxurious feeling. I love this. I am so excited to move out of an apartment soon. <laughs> we are actually moving and trying to rent a house instead because I miss having a bathtub. Not, that's not the only reason, let me say that. It's also better for us to have another room for people to stay in and for Kai to have his own backyard for when he gets sick. But anyways, I am so excited to take baths again and use this and put it in the bath water. It's going to be so luxurious. And then I've only got two mini shower gels. We've got Pure Wonder in Vanilla Bean Noel, one mini body cream in Happy Birthday, which I think this is, yeah, vanilla buttercream. I got this mini from Sol de Janeiro. This is the Beja Flora Elasta Cream. And then for hand creams, I've got this Burt's Bees Almond and Milk Hand Cream Little Pot. I've got the Bath & Body Works Wild Berry and Passion Flower Hand Cream. This is actually on my nightstand, and I put this on pretty much every night before I go to bed. And then I've got In the Stars, Happy Easter Tutti Fruity Candy, Fine Serenity Mimosa and Spearmint, Coffee and Whiskey, White Coconut Caramel, Vanilla Bean Noel, and Hot Cocoa and Cream. And then I'll move on to perfume minis. So as you can see, I have this big replica set and then I've got all these little minis. I've been collecting a lot of perfume minis recently. Um, really just in 2023, I started getting into perfume. So I've been really trying to expand my taste, see what I like and just try things. So I have a lot of perfume minis and I'm not gonna count them towards my perfume anymore like I did earlier. I'm gonna count them in my minis. So first I've got this Nest Madagascar Vanilla Perfume Oil Little Roller Ball. This was a free Sephora gift and I'm so happy that I got it from the Rewards Bazaar. I've got this number 11 from the Mix Bar and this is in Glass Rose. I've got Tom Ford's Ebony Fume, Chanel Chance, Chanel Coco, and Chloe. And then from Replica, I've used about half of these scents already. And then I still have um, Replica's Lazy Sunday Morning. 
Under the Lemon Tree by the Fireplace, Jazz Club, Springtime in Paris, and Autumn Vibes. And then for full-size perfumes, I've got Champagne Toast from Bath & Body Works. I've got these four from Pacifica. This is Island Vanilla, Neon Moon, Sunrise Moon, and Dream Moon. And then these two from Dossier in Musky Musk and Floriental Brown Sugar. And then I've got these five roller balls. I have Skylar's Vanilla Sky. This is one of my favorites. I have Ariana Grande's Mod Vanilla. I'm currently using this. I have to say the lasting power on this is not as uh, strong as this one, and it's definitely not as gourmand either. And then I've got these three from Bath & Body Works, Into the Night, Midnight Amber Glow, and Sunshine Mimosa. And I've also got these little four Ariana Grande perfumes. I think this is Sweet Like Candy. This is Sweet Like Candy um, Special Edition. This is Moonlight, and this one is... I cannot remember, to be honest with you, so I'll put it up on the screen. Okay, I did have to get on the bed to do these ones, so I'm sorry if stuff moves around, but I am like currently kneeling on the bed to get this shot for you guys. But here's all my fine fragrance mists. So starting at the top, we've got the like non-seasonal scents. We have Warm Vanilla Sugar, Almond Blossom, Twinkling Nights, and Pure Wonder. And then I've got the winter scents. I've got Ice Sugar Plum, Christmas Cookies, Vanilla Bean Noel, Coconut Mint Drop, and Frosted Wonderland, which is one of my favorites from like 2014. And I bought this as a backup. I'm never gonna finish it off. <laughs> it's my favorite ever. This is kind of more of a collector's edition for me than it is an item in my collection. Okay, and then I've got a little bit of spring right here. I consider these two, even though they came out in the winter time, to definitely be spring scents. So I've got Velvet Sugar, Blush Cardigan, and Wrapped in Vanilla. And then for fall scents, I have Twilight Woods and the Diamond Shimmer Mist. Bonfire Bash, Vanilla Mocha Cafe, White Pumpkin and Chai, and then these two for Halloween, Vampire Blood and Everlasting Magic. And then I've got my kind of like summer perfumes and then two from Victoria's Secret Pink. I have Vanilla Swirl and Whipped Dream. And then these summer ones, I have Mint Chocolate Swirl, Strawberry Pound Cake, Beach Nights, my favorite of all time, and Fresh Coconut and Cotton. And lastly for Fine Fragrance Mist, I have these three from Sol de Janeiro. I have 71, which is caramelized vanilla and macadamia. I've got 40, which is black amber plum and vanilla woods. And then I've got 62, pistachio and salted caramel. I definitely love Sol de Janeiro. I think they last the longest out of all the fine fragrance mists I've ever tried. Um, these two specifically are my favorite. I really don't like 40 because it is slightly floral and I'm just not about florals. Okay, you guys, so now that we've gone through all of my body care, I'm going to give you my totals. So in total, January of 2023, I had 120 products. And right now, I'm honestly going to not count my perfume minis and say that I have 118 because those are so easy to use up. I, I'm not going to count those anymore. So I have 118 products. Now I'm going to go through and kind of pick out either things to um, use up now or things that I'm going to declutter. Starting off with Together Weather, I really did not like this scent. It just wasn't for me. The notes are not on here. <laughs> that is helpful. Um, I have it in the scrub, so let's see. Blushing Breeze, Sugared Cardamom, and Soft Cedar. It kind of smells like medicine, so I have it in the scrub and the uh, shower gel. Now, the shower gel is a full size. I'm going to see if I can't exchange this at Bath & Body Works. I don't remember. I know they've changed their return policy recently, so I don't know if there's a certain time period I have to exchange or return this. So I'll look into that, but I'm going to get rid of this one because I know I don't like the scent. So I'm just going to I'm gonna put this box down over here and this will be my either get rid of or finish up now. Now this one I have probably two uses left on. So I'm going to put that in my finish up now bucket. Um, I am already working through a couple of the shower gels that I'm pretty close to finishing, which would be like these three. So I'm not going to worry about that. Um, same with body lotions. I'm already working on these three, so I'm good. I feel good about that. Um, these are both halfway used, so I'm not really going to bother. This one is pretty much almost done, so I could definitely work on finishing it. Uh, pumpkin, marshmallow pumpkin latte is also pretty close to being finished. It's more than halfway done, so I'm going to put it in here as well. And same with apple macchiato from Tree Hut. You can see I barely have any left, so I'm going to put that in here. Cinnamon Dulce, I'm already actually using up, so I won't put that in there. And then these aren't really very empty. So body creams, I'm already working on pink chiffon. 
but you can tell Everlasting Magic and Pink Chiffon are both kind of the same progress, so I could finish this one up pretty quickly if I wanted to, and I guess I'll just go ahead and put my stuff that I'm already using in here too. Okay, minis, I have this little Midnight Ember Glow that's pretty close to being done, so I'm gonna have I'm definitely gonna try to finish this one. I have this Pure Wonder Shower Gel that I'm pretty close to finishing, so I'll finish this. I'm already working on this Ariana Grande and this one too. I actually don't like Pumpkin Cupcake from Bath & Body Works. And this is from 2021, so I'll see. Maybe I'll put this on Mercari if somebody wants it, but it is changing color. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be a declutter. Honestly, I don't need this among the clouds, but I don't know that I still have the receipt for this one, so we'll see. Okay, these two from Sol de Janeiro are pretty much almost done. <laughs> I'm so sad because I don't want to buy a full size of these because I know I absolutely love them, but at the same time, just finish them and buy a full size, Victoria. It's not that big of a deal. So yeah, I'll put these in my uh, use it up. And then I don't think I'm anywhere close on any of my fine fragrance mist, which is kind of a bummer, but I don't finish those up as quickly, so whatever. <laughs> so, okay, anyways, so now that I've taken out some items, I feel a lot better. Okay, maybe I could take out a few from over here that I can kind of declutter. Honestly, I never use this diamond shimmer mist, so put that over here. I could finish up this whip dream because it's not really very full and I could definitely declutter a vanilla swirl. I honestly am not the biggest fan of blush cardigan. Let me smell it again. It's all right. It kind of smells like sweet tarts. Let me compare it to 40 from Sol de Janeiro because I also am not the biggest fan of this one. Now hold on a damn minute because this smells like together weather. I swear to God. Brazilian Crush 40 smells like together weather. Okay so yeah we're decluttering that. Do not like. Um, this is like a sweet tart scent. I don't know that I will ever really use it, to be honest. I would much rather use like a strawberry pound cake, so I'll declutter that. I don't know, I love warm vanilla sugar, but this one does, is not the best performer. It's from 2020, but I guess I'll, I'm gonna keep it because it does smell really good. Almond Blossom is so yummy, and I actually am kind of close to finishing this, so I'll put this in my spring project use it up. Same with Bonfire Bash, I'm pretty close to finishing, but I don't know if this is like a spring scent to me. It's really just a fall scent, but it's just like a nice marshmallow, so I guess it could be a spring scent. We'll see. I think I will put this in my spring project, and I'm already using up Ice Sugar Plum, so I'll put that over there too, and I'm using a Coconut Mint Drop. Okay, so after that, I have these seven items that I'm going to declutter. It will either go on my uh, Mercari store, which I'll link down below, or I'm going to try and return these two since I did buy them and never used them. So we'll see about those. And then this is my bin of things I'm gonna use up. I already have some of this in my project use it up, but I will add it next month as well to try and finish off some things that I'm already pretty much close to finishing. So I feel pretty good about that. And here's the rest of the collection besides what I'm using up. So I feel pretty good. Honestly, that was a little therapeutic to go through my stuff and be like, okay, what do I not like? What can I return? What can I exchange? So I feel pretty satisfied having done that and I'm pretty happy with where I'm at. Well, I'm not happy with where I'm at because I have a lot of stuff, but I'm happy that I'm acknowledging that I have a lot of stuff and I have a lot to get through. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm definitely not planning on buying anything new anytime soon. I'm actually on a no buy for body care right now. Um, I don't need anything. I have everything that I could need and more. And honestly, they're not really coming out with anything new that's, you know, capturing my attention at Bath & Body Works. So I'm good for now. I'm just going to keep using up what I have. And yeah. So thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know down below. Where is your collection at? Are you happy with it? Do you want more scents to try? Do you need to reduce your scents like I do because you have too many? Let me know what you're feeling like right now. But I will talk to you all in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Thank you.